Brandon, how about you tell me about your hot take? Oh my god, I hate you so much. <laughs> on Kingsman. <laughs> I really liked Kingsman too. Yeah, Kingsman was cool. Missed the first thirty minutes, but I still think it was fun. <laughs> but, yeah. Completely, completely knew what was going on. I don't think we missed much. I guess it's good that we didn't know Kingsman that, or at the very least, you didn't know Channing Tatum was in it because he was in like four minutes. Yeah, he wasn't a lot. He spent an awful lot of time though trying to show off his junk, which I thought was a little awkward. Well, if you pay for Channing Tatum, yeah. you better believe I'm going to sample every bit of him. Yeah, obviously. Totally want to be a statesman. <laughs> Fucking like the most perfect. If I ever wanted to be in charge of a. <laughs> <laughs> mystical company slash in- intelligence slash alcohol distilling business. The Statesmen are pretty much the only thing I did know about this movie and boy did they figure out a really good <laughs> equivalent to how fucking British everything was in the first Kingsman oh, no, movie. No. Oh my gosh, they went out of the way to like the American <laughs> stereotypes were a little ridiculous and sometimes slightly offensive. I was kind of like... Well, do you really think British people like being told, hey, you drink tea and eat crumpets all the time, oi? Here's an umbrella. Is it made by British people? I don't even know if it's actually made by British people. I know the comic is. I don't know if the film production is or not. I'd be a little sad if it wasn't. (laughs) But So they were a little extensive on the... That being said, Elton John is dressed up in a giant like rainbow feather outfit said, at one point. I think Elton John was my actually my favorite part of the movie. It Elton John fucking hilarious kicks more say. ass than T- oh, Channing to, Tatum does. That's true. He totally does. He, <laughs> take, he, he legitimately takes out at least two people. And Channing Tatum doesn't take out anybody before he gets fucking cryophones. Also, it was really fun to watch Brandon freak out of every bit that involves a lot of blood. Why did I freak out? What are you talking about? You're like, oh no, oh god. Oh. Whatever. Shut up. Just because I don't like a lot of blood. Or sex or anything. Or, Are you alive? Sex. sex is fine. We talk about enjoy sex literally. literally. You literally last podcast said, not that I'm a prude or nothing, but I hate seeing like a lot of sex and things. No, I'm just saying I think horror, I didn't say it, I just think horror movies, I think you can sometimes overdo the sex nowadays. That's all I'm sure. saying. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. Not twisting your words. Uh, yeah, like I think I, know, I think you can make a good horror movie without having to have a bunch of sex in it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, Kingsman's cool. Mm-hmm. There's a little blast for you. I don't really know if we rename this specific thing "Floating Up Rapids" or <laughs> whatever the fuck. Uh, no, we can do it. Yeah, we can. I don't like, know, a full, we can like a fucking four-minute blast of this movie's good. Yeah, no, we should talk. Well, we, yeah, we should find a cool, cute little nickname. Because what am I not cute? We should find a cool manly nickname. <laughs> what, are, what are my podcasts? The Weeds. Fuss Quickies. Shout out to The Weeds on Vox. If you like poly, political science, you should listen to fo- Vox, The Weeds, Vox Media. Great media source for really any millennial. Um, but they, they like, a shoot-off of their podcast was called uh, Vox, or Weeds in the Wilds. And they did shorter podcasts. Um, so Word. Ours could be called like Tide Pool or like Okay. Uh, current 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 streams have currents. We see a current movie. See where I'm going. Current with. quickies. Current quickies, I like it. Alright. I like it. Quickie currents? Current Qu- quickies. <laughs> Quickie currents? Qu- <laughs> current quickies. How about that? Current quickies. Okay, I like it, I like it. Because <laughs> it sounds just stupid enough that I'm kinda okay with it. Yeah. yeah. And isn't there something called QC otherwise? So quick currents kind of well, I guess quick currents kind of makes more QR sense. QR, but I don't know. It's good. I like it. Don't fiddle around with it too much. Yeah. Take a multiple choice test. First thing comes to your mind, go with it. Blam. Executive decision. You're the executive producer, by the way. Oh shit. I'm just a stooge. <laughs> You're just the by the hour actor. Are you Harrison Ford? And the looks. <laughs> the looks to your brains, Doug. You're Channing Tatum dancing for a minute and then yeah. showing his junk? Yeah. God, I can't wait for the disaster artist. It does look good. I love it. Have you ever seen The Room? The Room? Yeah. No. The Tommy Wiseau? No. Holy fucking shit, dude. <laughs> Do I have a fucking movie to show you? I think I've heard of it. That movie is so fucking amazing. 
and then there's a book chronicling everything around that movie's production, and that's what that disaster artist is based on. Hmm. Is that book? Interesting. That is written and narrated by uh, the guy that uh, that uh, Franco's oh, brother, you... little brother, is playing. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It's so fucking ah oh, fuck. If you've never had if you've never had a uh, Audible account before, you can get a free trial for Audible or whatever. We are not sponsored by Audible, by the way. You can sign up for a free trial, and you not literally opposed get... to being sponsored by Audible. We're not just, we're not opposed to literally any sponsor. If the Auto Blow wants to sponsor us, I'm down. Anyway, free samples for if you the free the free trial, you get credits basically, and you buy books and stuff. If you cancel the trial, you still keep whatever fucking book you got. And I did that with fucking Disaster Artist, and it was the greatest thing I've ever done. Really? In my life. Besides producing a child, better than producing a child. Let's say tied. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you gotta end it. It's gotta be a quickie. You gotta close. It's gotta be done. <laughs> but I could have been a contender. They they want they will not let me wet my beak. It's gonna end it with random movie quotes. Did I do that? I don't have one. Uh, <laughs> life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Luke, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> father. <laughs> Forrest Gump and Darth Vader, two things featured prominently in Brandon's, like, <laughs> like, what? Like, ego? Now not like even his, I don't know. not even his super ego, just like, uh, if that was next to your, like, address and <laughs> how old you are. <laughs> just like how Kate knows the name of the raccoon from Pocahontas and can recite it within, like, 0.3 yeah, seconds. How the fuck do all of you know this? I don't know, it's just a thing I know. I think I only know it because Kate said it at the <laughs> trivia thing, and now it's stuck in my brain. But Jesus. I mean, actually, you could really also just kind of pick any cliche Native American name, and you'd probably be pretty close to. Yeah, but Miko doesn't really hit me as like a Native American name. Uh, well, well, it was obviously Indian, it was in Pocahontas. The quickie needs to end. End it. You really have a problem with running over a podcast, Doug. It's starting to bug me. Our bu- budget is ballooning! <laughs> we're, we're over budget and out of control. Is that a... <laughs> <laughs> Trying to act like a Please. flustered movie producer who can't handle executive... Who can't keep dealing with executive directors. Who can't make decisions. Ugh. Speaking of movie movies, have you ever seen... Damn it, what movie is this? <laughs> um, oh, it's a... Oh, fucking... It wasn't actually as good as I wanted it to be. I was kind of disappointed. I fell asleep in the middle of it. Uh, George Clooney plays like some random Roman actor and they get kidnapped. Oh, like, are you fucking talking about a uh, um Cody um brother something? Oh, brother, where art thou? No, no. What the fuck no, is it called? Brother, um, you know what I'm talking about. It's a weird. Fu- isn't Jonah Hill in it? Uh, all hail Caesar! All hail Caesar! Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Oh, that was a weird movie. I like that movie though. That no, was good though, <laughs> but I like fell asleep and missed the middle of it. But yeah, totally. It's it's yeah. a weird fucking movie. It's a weird movie that starts as boring as I'm humanly sure it's possible. it's based on a true story, isn't it? I think. I think so, too. It's a weird movie. It's a weird movie. I'm just not going to talk so this podcast will end. <laughs> <laughs> so, 